And next we'll have the Honorable Richard H. Baker, President, Managed Fund Association, and our former colleague. Mr. Baker, welcome. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, uh, Mr. Garrett, members. Uh, I appreciate the opportunity to visit with you this morning. As uh, President and CEO of Managed Funds, uh, we represent a significant number of hedge funds globally and remain a primary advocate for sound business practices and industry growth for professionals and hedge funds. Uh, we do provide liquidity and price discovery to markets, capital to allow companies to grow, and sophisticated risk management to investors like pension plans. I should note, uh, as the GAO testimony indicated, that our funds were not the proximate cause of the ongoing difficulties in our financial markets. But our firms and investors have suffered, like many others, as a result of the current downturn. Despite these challenges, some of our firms and continue to experience uh, difficulty, we have not sought a dollar of taxpayer money. Nor, to my knowledge, have any hedge funds been a significant concern in the current market environment as to a contributor to a potential systemic writ. That's in part the result of our relative side to the size to the broader financial universe. With an estimated $1.5 trillion, and that number varies depending on market conditions, uh, our industry is significantly smaller than the $9.4 million uh, trillion dollar, uh, mutual fund industry or the $13.8 trillion dollar U.S. banking system. It is also a function of our strength. Hedge fund managers are some of the best in assessing financial market risk and in managing their own. Our managers' interests are also aligned with those of our investors. Their money is engaged in the same investment strategy. And it's also a function of how we deploy credit. Today, many hedge funds use little or no leverage, and this has been a repetitive mischaracterization of our industry in reports, the highly leveraged hedge fund industry. Uh, it's a continued source of frustration. A recent study, which I'll be happy to provide the committee, found that 26.9 percent of hedge funds used zero leverage. And a 2009 report by the chairman of the Financial Services Authority in London, not something we should be able to control, that hedge fund leverage was on average between two and three to one industry-wide for a five-year period, significantly below many of our other financial service sectors. As a, as a result of these factors, losses at hedge funds have not posed systemic risk the way that losses at more highly leveraged institutions have. Hedge funds have a shared interest with policymakers in establishing a sound financial system and restoring investor confidence. We only do well when markets function efficiently. The MFA and its members recognize that mandatory SEC registration for investment advisors is among many options being considered by the Congress. In our view, registering investment advisors, including advisors to all private pools of capital under the Investment Advisors Act, is the right approach. While not a panacea, it can play an important role toward the shared goals of promoting efficiency in the markets, market integrity, and providing a measure of investor protection. Mr. Chairman, we didn't come to this decision very easily at all. Uh, it's been debated for a considerable amount of time. But I should point out that over half our members and over 70 percent of assets under management already voluntarily register with the SEC. What we're recommending today, however, goes beyond what Treasury Secretary Geithner proposed. The Secretary suggested only the largest fund advisors for the purpose of systemic risk register. What we are supporting today will subject the vast majority of investment advisors above some de minimis standard which we do not define to required registration. And it is significant. The notification letter that goes out to members that pursuant to registration, the initial opening is a 20-page letter that represents hundreds of questions. We are required to make publicly available disclosures to the SEC, detailed disclosures to clients, procedures and policies to prevent insider trading, maintaining extensive sets of books and records, periodic inspections and examinations, requiring chief compliance officer and a written code of professional conduct are among only the major principal points of a registration requirement. Uh, we believe it important to consider the role of a smaller investment advisor through consideration of a de minimis threshold, and such exemptions should be narrowly constructed. Mr. Chairman, I look forward to working with the committee as you move forward. 
we want to be a valued resource in this most difficult task. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Baker. We appreciate your offer, and I'm sure we're going to take you up on it.